In this last lesson of matrices, we are going to look at some root matrices. Now, if you look at this, this is a network of roads joining four different towns. We can ask ourselves, how many direct roads from one town to the other? For example, from A to B, there's one direct road. What about from A to D? Is there one? In fact, there's none because there's no road connecting A to D. To go from A to D, we either go from A to B to D or A to B to C and then to D. Now, we can work out the road matrix in a table. For example, A to B, one way. A to C, there's no direct way. A to D, there's no direct way. B to A, one way. B to C, one way. B to D, that's one way. What about C? C to A, no direct road. C to B, one way. C to C, none. C to D, here or here. What about D? D to A, there's no direct road. D to B, one way. D to C, that way or that way. D to D, none. So, we can actually change that table into a matrix. And this is the matrix. Now, straight away we can tell that it's a square matrix, it's a 4 by 4 matrix. 4 rows and 4 columns. And look at the leading diagonal. is 0. All the elements in the leading diagonal is 0. We call this a direct road matrix or one stage road matrix or some book just use it and call it a road matrix. Now what about two stage road? Can we go from A to A? In this case a two stage is possible. We go from A to B and then back to A. What about A to D? Two stage, A to B and B to D. What about from B to C? B to D and the C. Or B to D and this road to C. Now let's have a look at C to C. C to B and C, one way. C to D and C, one way. C to D and C, another way. Three ways already. Now, we can go the fourth way, C to D and then D to C. We can reverse the journey, C to D, D to C. So there are actually five ways from C to C. It is the same for D as well. And now we can put all this information as a two-stage road matrix. And this is how you write it. Okay, next we're going to see is there a relationship between the two-stage road matrix and the one-stage road matrix. Remember, this is a one-stage root matrix, and this is a two-stage. Take your class pad out, or use your brain. Let's actually multiply the one-stage matrix by itself, or square it. Now, this is the answer. So, from the square of a one-stage root matrix, you actually obtain the two-stage road matrix. So, the conclusion is, when we square a one-stage road matrix, we actually get a two-stage road matrix. Now, a different, slightly different example. In this case, there's a round road around B. So, you can actually have a direct way from B to B. In this circle, one way, or coming back in the other circle, one way. So this is actually um, reflected in the new direct road matrix. What I would like you to do is to pause for a while, have a look at this matrix here, and actually work out the direct road matrix and the two-stage road matrix. Okay? These are the answer, but I would like you to pause and just look at that before you look at the answer. Now finally, we can actually look at social interaction as well. So for example, we've got five different people. 
this is what they do is like A vis visit B and V visit A. The arrow here indicates that E visited C or E visited D but C did not reciprocate, did not go visit E or D did not visit E. So we can write all this in a matrix format. Right, this is the end of the series of lectures and lessons on uh, matrices. I would like you to try some example from your book. Thank you for listening.